Another tool in Twinmotion are animators. In animators, we have rotation tool and translators tool. Rotation tool is for rotating <coughs> objects. Click on it and you can see we have a different uh, example of that. If you, for example, insert this door, you can see the door is opening with rotating tool. If you go into the settings, if you open that, you can see we have a rotator that this door is a child of the rotator tool. Uh, in a rotator tool, we have animation. For example, you can make it a ping pong. Make it lots of... Uh, and the trigger is... You can disable the um, trigger I've explained it before but I explain it more it needs the trigger for example uh, for example here if you go to the trigger and trigger zoom if you just once click hold your mouse here you can see the trigger zoom here it means <clears throat> if the camera pedestrians vehicle and bicycle and custom pass going to the that area it will be open in trigger in uh, ping pong mode or once and then if you come back it will be closed with that speed that you set here i set it to the ping pong and turn off trigger to you see <coughs> this animator going to its settings and beginning from the scratch to see what happened it's the one example Another example is this, it's rotating it on. Another example is this barrier door. That you can see the axis of the rotation rotating are changing. If you I think no, it's not with trigger, just open <coughs> container. So rotator. Yeah, it hasn't trigger, but I think the zoom, yeah. The zoom is nice and now you can see okay i give you lots of example let's begin from simple <coughs> cube to better understanding that uh going to library object primitive simple cube this is our cube going to library <coughs> sorry tools and animators rotation these are these three are example and the tool is rotator here click and drag it and here are rotator this is an axis if you click that this is an axis of that the axis of that is in a z you can make it in y or x z i want to rotate this is an a pivot of rotation if you link this object to the this rotator this object rotate based on the axis of the rotator you have two way to doing that you can have to select the rotator and <clears throat> click on object link then you have to click the object look at here what happened here. if you select your object the rotator is automatically uh, going to parent of the box this is the base way to linking <clears throat> object or if you want you can on a link this object click and the rotator another way is making a, a box or any object child of, of rotation with click and drag and release and it's automatically child of, or link that <coughs> okay uh, this is a play mode it means you can play it um, at the angle of rot rot rotation you can make it 360 to fully rotate around this pivot point because the rotator is a parent of the child if you uh, move it it's move the object move with that and then you can change the axis of the rotation interesting any axis that you want you can rotate it <coughs> sorry make it 
Okay. Then another tool is uh, animator axis. Here you can, if you click that, you can change the axis of the rotation. If you want to, uh, the axis of rotation uh, goes exactly at the middle of the object, you can do in that. And then uh, click on a transcend object. As you can see, now the object is rotating based on the pivot point of the rotation. It's very easy. That's very easy and nice. The animation uh, is advanced, means it's just play once and stop. It's a ping pong mode. It's going back and forth. It's a loop and looping and looping. You can make them. You can change the speed and the delay. It's begin with the delay that you want. You can see delay three seconds and then uh, loop it again. This is a delay. The trigger, as I, as I explained before, you can enable it and uh, you can see we have a trigger zone here. This is a trigger zone. You can make it higher. It means if the camera or pedestrian or your pass comes through this area, the animation will be play. And if you come back from that area, it will be a stop. This is a trigger mode. If you turn on, it always rotation, rotates. <clears throat> okay, this is a uh, rotator. That's very simple, easy. And let's talk about the translate. The translate is using for translating object. For example, in a sliding door, we have this function. The door is a sliding transfer from an area to another area. Or another example is something like this. You can see, these are all trigger. Or this gate. These are translate to translate object uh, within a line, okay? <clears throat> and it's very simple. Um, this is our cube. You can release it from rotation and bring it there. We want to translate from this position to another position. It's very simple. Uh, bring translate object rotation here and it's translate the, the in this case, the pivot are not important uh, because it's translate object from its position of the object. Uh, we link this translate to this box and as you can see, just it's move it up by the direction. Any direction that you want, it will be changed. Interesting part of that is that you can move the translate object and with move with that, you can rotate or translate object and rotate it any direction. Again, we have access, we have an animation, a speed delete, we have a trigger like rotation, rotator. It's very easy. And you can see it's uh, become a parent of the box. Or you can use this XYZ tools. It's rotate any direction or any distance that you want, you can make it any distance that you want or any dis speed that's it it's very easy and you can use the objects